Okay, so here we are. Hello and welcome to Journal Play Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got some of these paints. I don't even know if they're still good, but I'm going to use these. And these are the um, Distress Paint. And I, don't, I think maybe I tried them once and just, I don't know. So I'm going to just try to coat the page because I have no idea what I want to do. So I'm just going to kind of coat the page with some some of this paint you know instead of using gesso or I don't know whatever else I'm gonna just kind of see what this does okay You guys probably know how to use this stuff better than I do, so I'm just rubbing this in here. Nice color. I guess I picked these colors for a reason at the time. Probably a very long time ago, because I forgot I even had them. Pretty sad, you know, we get this stuff and then we forget. Maybe I tried to use it and I just didn't. Now, I don't care for the paint coming out like this, but I guess there's a reason for it. You can have it in these little bottles, and you're better to travel with, I'm sure. <clears throat> I must have used this one, because... I don't know. The top looks like it's kind of... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got to buy new tops for them. I don't know. Now, here it comes. Here it comes, I think. It's a pretty color, too. around I don't know what does that look like to you big hot mess huh okay <laughs> crazy crazy okay Well, I'm thinking maybe I want to stamp. Maybe I'll get some Distress Ink and stamp a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, I have a whole bunch of inks. Let's see how they look. This is tumbled glass. See if you can even see. Hmm. Probably if I put something underneath there it would be better. But I am going to See that? I'm just stamping to get a layer of something on there. Something else besides the paint. So I'm using this block here. I'm just kind of turning it around using all the sides.
I added some orange and also some lime green to this with a credit card just kind of smeared it on there and so now I'm just stamping with the black uh, archival ink with my numbers you know my favorite number stamp so and now just drawing on there some flowers with the black uni Posca pen uh, marker sorry that I just got I love this one with this finer point can see I added some color and unfortunately I lost that little bit of uh, video but what I did was I just took some of my gelatos and just kind of smeared it in there just to get some more color back in there you can still see some of the background coming through the white gesso but I wanted to add and make it a little bit brighter so now I'm just using my uni Posca uh, marker paint marker and just going over some of the doodles that I had already drawn on there just to pop them you know make them pop out of the page Well, that was fun, and I'm really excited to be here again. Made it to another one, so I'm getting so excited with these pages. But let me tell you, you know, I was what I was thinking of doing with this along the way uh, was putting little houses in here. You know, I have those downloads of the little gypsy houses that I did, and I thought, well, those would be cute in here, like small. Or maybe some of my little animals. I thought, well, I'll put those in here and then I thought no I'm just gonna you know just leave it nice it seems like a nice summery kind of page with the flowers you know I look at my garden all the time and I see flowers out there so I like to kind of incorporate them into my journal and a creative life is a joyful life I really believe that so it's nice to put it down on paper you know and see it with some pretty colors I hope you you know just doodling really and just doing lots of layers and having fun and I really did enjoy this so I hope you did too and I will see you next week in another journal play Thursday. And thank you so much for being here. I hope I inspired you to get into your journal again and have some fun doodle, do layers, whatever. I like doing all these crazy layers and playing. It's so much fun. And take out your stencils and take out your markers and stamps and just go at it in your journal, okay? It doesn't have to be anything particular. Just get color down stuff. It just makes you feel good. 
you know. So I will see you next week and I will stop yakety yakking. Oh, and I wanted to ask you too, if any of you are living in the surrounding areas of where I live in Daytona, uh, I started a meetup group and it is for a Daytona Beach Women's Art Group. So if anyone's interested, if you live in the surrounding area and you're willing to drive, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I don't know how long, uh, I am in Daytona Beach and I will be holding meetup meetings and then um, some meetup meetings with classes. So we'll be working in journals and doing intuitive artwork and canvas uh, mixed media. So it'll be lots of fun. So right now, I think I have like... 36 um 36 women in my group i think it was 36 and everybody seems so excited so i'm so excited so if any of you would like to join that i'll put the link below and um oh my husband just texted me he's like it's raining wow so that's cool we're getting some rain here guys i hope you all get like a nice amount not where we're flooding so I hope you are doing well and I love you guys and I really appreciate you being here with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to check out my links below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me comments. I love hearing from all of you.